All right, guys, I'm going to explain um, the concept of thinking in language. And I'm going to debunk this myth that we actually think in language because we don't actually think in language. We think in thought. People think that, oh, yeah, you know, I think in English. You know, oh, you know, like when I dream and go to sleep, like, you know, I have my dream in Japanese and French. It's like, it's all, no. It's like your brain does not actually think in language in the first place. It thinks in thought. We just use language as a tool to translate our thoughts. But there's an original thought that is outside of language, that is not related to language. So I know this is like hard to understand because especially if you only speak one language, which is English, then you're probably going to be like, yeah, I don't understand what is this guy's getting because it's like, I only, I only think in English. When in reality, you don't think in English, you think in thoughts. And English is your only tool to communicate your thoughts, okay? That's why. When you know multiple languages, you start to realize that there are, like, there are certain words. Like, I know, like, if you speak multiple languages, you understand what I'm saying, but when you learn a new word in a language, or, like, if there's, like, a certain word in language, this word doesn't have the same flavor or taste or feeling as a similar word in English, okay? Like, there are certain words in a language, like, if you know Arabic, okay, maybe, like, in Arabic, this word right here, it doesn't have a literal precise translation of a word in English. There's not another English word that has this exact, that means this exact same word in, in Arabic or in Japanese, right? Which means that depending on the language you're, you're learning, you have an entirely new thought that doesn't even exist in language. When I speak Japanese, the way we think and the way we translate ideas do not exist in English. The idea doesn't exist in English. That's, that's what you guys have to understand. The idea we're saying, we, you could get the rough idea of what we're saying, but the actual precise idea itself does not even exist in English. So you cannot use the English language to even translate what we're saying in Japanese. Because what we're saying in Japanese doesn't even exist outside of Japanese. It only exists within the language. This is a pure Japanese thought. Okay? Now what it is is that we have the thought, but we just use language, like Japanese, to express this thought. Right? And anytime you say this, you know, people understand the sentence as a thought. Okay, when I say the word dog, it's like, you think about the thought of a dog, but you don't actually think about the words D-O-G. You don't think about dog as the English word, you just think about the actual animal, right? The idea of a dog. Do you guys understand what I'm saying? We don't actually think in language, we think in thought, right? And Steven Pinker, uh, Steven Pinker he's a linguist, um, and he actually kind of went into this a little bit in his, uh, and he's like a, a doctor, like psychologist, like he's like a super famous guy. Um, but if you read one of his books, um, I think it's Language Instinct, he, he touches on this. He says like, there's mentalese. So mentalese, it's like, let's say you have Japanese, Chinese, and a mentalese. So mentalese is like, he, he just made up this word, but mentalese really just means um, you, it's like the language of thought. So it's like he just made it up because he just wanted you guys to understand it. So we, we don't think in Japanese or English. We just think in mentalese, right? Because we have our thoughts that we think and we just use either the languages we know to translate our thoughts. All right. So that's why like when I was in France and I was speaking only France, French, it was very hard for me to speak English because my entire thought process was already in French. Do you guys understand? Like my, my thought process and the way I was thinking was entirely in French. Like my brain was like in a French mode. My thoughts were in a French mode. So, but the thoughts were not French themselves. They were just, they just originated from the thought. I know it's like hard to, hard to explain, but this is like how it is, okay? Because anytime I say something in English, I'm just expressing my thoughts, okay? And you're understanding this as a thought. So anytime I say something, you're just understanding what I'm saying. Why are you, are you understanding what I'm saying? It's because I'm expressing a thought right now. I'm expressing ideas. We think in ideas, we think in thought, we don't think in language. Okay, so people try to understand, people try to, you know, when they're trying to learn a new language, they're like, how can I think in my target language? How can I think in Japanese? Like, I wanna learn Japanese, but I wanna learn how to think in it. And the reality is it's unavoidable to think in your original language when you're learning Japanese. If you're trying to learn French or Japanese, you can't think in Japanese in the beginning, okay? It, it's hard because it, you're, you're still using your English software brain to 
think in, in English. But over time, what's going to happen is you're going to acquire the Japanese language, like certain phrases of Japanese, to the point where anytime Japanese is spoken, you're going to, you're going to be able to instantly understand, this, understand it as meaning, as thought. Right? And once you arrive at this level, you have no need to actually even bring English into the equation. You don't have to think in English anymore. Because you're just understanding the thought in Japanese. Because you're translating it from Japanese sentence straight to thought, straight to meaning. Whereas like when like whereas before, what you were doing is you're you're translating the, the Japanese sentence and you're translating that into English, and then you understand the English sentence in thought. So when you're in when you're in the beginning stage of languages, you're going from Japanese, then English, and then once it's it's in English, then you understand as thought. But we, we want to remove the English, right? We, we, we want to go from Japanese straight to thought. We don't want to go from Japanese, English, then thought. Okay? We want to go from Japanese, boom, straight to thought. Right? But the reason why you have to use English to, in order to understand a thought in the beginning is because you're not, you haven't acquired enough of the language. So this is unavoidable. But as you keep immersing yourself in language, as you keep you know, ameliorating your skills and improving Japanese over time, what's going to happen is you're going to end up entirely thinking in Japanese. And by the time you speak to people, you're going to be speaking to people in Japanese thought. So which means that you're going to have a thought and then you're going to be able to express in Japanese. It's going to be that easy, guys. And then when someone speaks to you in Japanese, you're going to be able to instantly understand what they're saying. You're going to be able to instantly decode the, 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 what they're saying in Japanese into meaning in your brain. All right, you're not going to have to even involve English in, the, in this process. When you watch an anime, you don't have to involve English at all. You, you're just going to be able to understand it in Japanese. Okay, and that's what we want to do. But what you guys have to realize is that it's not that, it's not that we think in Japanese. It's that there's, we just use thoughts. We just use language in order to express and understand thoughts. Okay, but the original language is mentalese. What we really think in is mentalese. Okay, another example I can give you guys is have you ever had a moment where like you wanted to say something, but when you by the time you tried to say it, it didn't come out like perfectly intended. This is because there was an original thought that you had. And when you tried to express this thought in English, it didn't come out the way you wanted. Like you, you, you said something and it's like, oh, no, that's not what I meant. I meant this. Why would there be that error? Because if you actually thought in language, what would happen is you would think in the thought or you would think in English, right? And you'll be able to perfectly bust out the thought you were trying to express or intended to express. So how come there was an error between what you thought and what actually came out of your mouth in English? How come there's a, a discrepancy? This is because you were having a hard time expressing what you were thinking, right, into English. It takes skill to articulate your thoughts in English or in any language, as a matter of fact. Okay? This is why you see some people that have all these ideas and, and these thoughts in their head, but they're not able to actually translate it and, and they're not actually able to articulate their thoughts, right? Because if we actually thought in language, then everyone in the world will be able to perfectly articulate what they're saying or perfectly ar be able to perfectly articulate and express what they think. If we truly thought in language, that would be the case. But the fact is that we don't. We don't think in language, okay? We think in thoughts. Okay, that's why some people have trouble articulating their thoughts. It's because they're not able to translate their thoughts into language. We just use language as a translation tool to express our thoughts. That's all it is. That's all language is. All language is, is just a way to translate our thoughts and understand thoughts. Okay, but some people can't express their thoughts and can't articulate them as well. Because why? Because they're just not skilled. They're not able to translate effectively, you know, their, their thoughts into meaning, into a language, right? So this is proof that we don't actually think in language at all. We think in thought. All right. So if you're trying to learn a new language and you want to think in that language, you're just going to have to end up realizing like, okay, I'm going to have to get better at the language. And eventually over time, it's going to fix itself. It's going to fix itself. And you're eventually going to get to the point where you're going to be able to understand the language without even thinking. And that's what it should be.